So uh, for this poem, which is called Listening to Tom Waits on the Côte d'Argent, um, I suppose it's an introductory poem to the life I live down in Spain. I live on the uh, Atlantic coast of Galicia. Um, I've been down there for eight years now, almost, between Salamanca, Madrid, and now Galicia. So this poem will kind of drive us down, uh, both linguistically um, and, I suppose, um, with the food as well, of somewhat my arrival down south. Listening to Tom Waits on the Côte d'Argent. We're riding down the coast on a rejuvenated Vespa that I reimagine in hot, chilly red, when on the way into Biarritz it gives out. I should have said by his grease monkey shuffle and the way his Vespertilian eyes peered from the dark, the mechanic wasn't to be trusted. Then out of the haze comes farting a VW camper, all daisy yellow and peppermint green, a pair of Etonians at the wheel with room to manoeuvre. You see, they'd done the scene of the shuttered green towns along the Bay of Biscay and were easily convinced they were going our way. We, who had just surfaced from a week in the dunes on burgundy and blues, but finding no driftwood to hand and your hair getting tangled in the sand, we cast the runes into the night and drifted to the hills by the moon, where we had our own Esperanto. English and Castellano raveled with French and mine. In the evenings, we passed a wheel of Comte from hand to hand, widening the wedge with a cook's knife, nicking and slicing until we fell asleep under the sedge roof. I'd seen this room and walked this floor and wanted more and more to sing Alleluia. But as I closed the shutters, I caught the blood stain and the sheep's head in the yard below. The crack in his skull pointing north, while behind me you sat sweeping the ashes from the grave and turned your head ever so slightly again to the south. 